A man of 60 kg is running on the road and suddenly jumps into a stationary trolley car of mass 120 kg. Then the trolley car starts moving with the velocity 2 meter per second. The velocity of the running man was when he jumps into the car. Okay, so a man of running. Okay, so let us first visualize the given condition. So uh, let us assume that this is the man trolley, right? So the man initial velocity is u1 and the initial velocity of trolley is u2. 60 kilogram weight for the man, 124, wait, 124 the trolley car, yes, okay, trolley is 120. The trolley car starts moving with velocity 2 meters per second. This, so this, it starts moving with the velocity equal to, equal to 2 meter per second. A man is still running on the road and suddenly, okay, so this man here, he jumps to the trolley and um, okay so stationary trolley car which means which means this velocity is equal to zero so a stationary trolley a man jumps it with with, with with the velocity he's running and he runs he jumps into this trolley and the trolley starts moving at the speed of two meter per second now when it starts to move we know that both the masses can be combined together and both of them have the same velocity that is two meter per second so what we need to understand here is that when it starts to move, basically what happens is this is one complete system. Actually, this is one 180 kilogram mass moving with 2 meter per second velocity, right? So, see, these kind of questions from the practice that we have done so far, the moment we see this question, we should be able to understand that this is nothing but conservation of linear, conservation of linear momentum, which means we need first to identify the identify the system. Now, how do we identify that this is linear momentum? Simple, m1, u1, m2, u2, which simply gives us a correlation that we need to find, we start doing this in linear momentum, uh, conservation linear momentum. So, system is man and trolley. Now, since there is no, ex okay, wait, let me just write down the basic. If external acting on the system, when I say system, it means the man and the trolley. Since this complete motion of this man and trolley is influenced only by the forces between acting between these two, therefore we can say that since f external is equal to zero, change in momentum should be equal to zero. And if change in momentum is equal to zero, it imply, implies that the final momentum should be equal to the initial momentum. Now, what is the final momentum? The final momentum means after this condition, right? So the final momentum means mass into final mass into final velocity. What is the final velocity? 2 meter per second. What is the final mass? It is m1 plus m2. So, so basically this, this here represents the final momentum and this represents the initial momentum. Now, what is the initial momentum? This condition over here. So, this represents the initial conditions and this part, the second part over here represents the final condition. And in the initial condition, there are two different masses, m1 u1 and m2 u2. So we have m1 u1 plus m2 u2. Now, u2 is equal to zero. So we can write that this, this term, okay, this term gets eliminated. So what is then m1 u1? What is m1? m1 is 60 kilogram. What is u1? We don't know. So 60 kilogram u1 is equal to m1 plus m2. So, M1 plus M2 here is 60 plus 120. So, M1 plus M2 is 180. So, this becomes 180 into V. V is the common velocity by which the both the man and trolley as a system moves, which is given to us as 2 meter per second. So, this is into 2. And therefore, U1 is equal to 180 to 360 upon 60, which is equal to 6 meter per second. Which means which means that the man was running with a velocity of, the velocity of the man was 6 meter per second. 